Thank you, thank you. We're so happy to be here. I myself am an RISD alum, and I am proudly watching my daughter walk across the threshold today. So I know how y'all feel. We're giving thanks.
Welcome to the Rhode Island School of Design's 2022 commencement. Please be seated. Please take a moment to locate the nearest emergency exit and silence your cell phones if you have not already done so. As we begin today's event, I would like to offer a land acknowledgement. Rhode Island School of Design is built on what is now called College Hill, part of the ancestral homelands of Narragansett Nation. Indigenous people from many nations, near and far, live, study, and work in Providence today. The amplification of Native voices and histories is crucial to rectifying the many violent legacies of colonialism, and we gratefully acknowledge the ongoing critical con contributions of Indigenous people across our state, region, and nation. Thank you. Honored guests, President Crystal Williams. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, and a very, very special thanks to our musical accompaniment by Boo City and ERB. Thank you. Thank you also to the wonderful team of staff, faculty, students, alumni, and volunteers who have made today's ceremony possible. A warm welcome to all of you gathered here today to celebrate Rhode Island School of Design's 139th commencement and to celebrate the classes of 2020 and 2022. <laughs> Greetings to RISD's chairman of the Board of Trustees, members of the board, faculty, staff, curators, librarians, our honorary degree recipients, speakers, families, alumni, and friends. As well as we acknowledge the two uh, 2017 graphic design alumni who designed this year's materials, Suzy Shin, BFA 17 in graphic design, and Mary Hang, MFA 17 graphic design. Thank you. <laughs> to be here in celebration of your accomplishments is a gift and a privilege that we are here together today. The class of 2020 and the class of 2022 is made all the more meaningful by the fact of our collective COVID experience. Joy, which I see here today, unabashed and unbridled, surrounds you today. And we, your faculty, department heads, deans, graduate program directors, shop techs, facilities folks, dining folks, volunteers, alumni, and members of the Board of Trustees, all of us graduates are, as we say, here for it. In that vein, I also want to give special thanks to your family and friends and beloveds whose dedication to you is inspiring and reminds us that who and how you are has everything to do with who and how they are. Family, friends, beloveds, thank you for your support of these people. Congratulations to you too. <laughs> It's been a road, that's for sure. Now I want to direct, directly address the classes of 2020 and 2022, and I want to talk to you just briefly about courage. 
you are an extraordinary group of people. And I mean extraordinary literally, as in outside of ordinariness. This class represents 40 languages, 28 countries. 112 of you are first in your families to have graduated with a four-year college degree. You come from distances as far away as Australia and Macau and as close as Providence, Rhode Island. The youngest of you is 20, the wisest 60. Among you are people who, while at RISD, have been raising children and people who have raised children. To you, this extraordinary group of people, I want to say, we see you. We appreciate and celebrate the totality of who you are, where you are from, and what you have accomplished. You may not know or feel it now, but you are already leaders. You are already visionaries. And why do I say that? Because when I look out at you, I see people who, in a world of, in which brown and blonde and red and black hair are the norm, I see people who've said, meh, I prefer purple hair with teal streaks and a little bedazzling, thank you. <laughs> in a world of boxes, I see people who have said octagons. I see people who have dared to believe in a world that works differently, looks different, functions more justly, more sustainably, a world driven by the creative impulse. And then I see people who have doubled down on those beliefs and decided to learn how to evince such a place through your liberal arts in art and design education. I see people who have brought your cultures, your peoples, and your ancestors, all of them, all of their histories and their triumphs here into and through your work. And so now look at us. We are the world, all of the continents represented, your people among your octagon peeps. You did that. Under rigorous mentorship and instruction, I see folks who've worked harder than you could have imagined, and you've revised, reshaped, retooled, and gained an unparalleled work ethic and level of mastery and disciplinary knowledge. You've gained a series of habits of mind and ways of thinking, and not outside of the box, but eschewing the box altogether. And those will propel you forward in ways that will continue to serve you for decades to come. You've gained a community and a way of being in community with like-visioned people upon whom you will rely for the rest of your lives. And you have learned that in imperfect, lamentable circumstances, you can and have thrived. All of those skills, habits of mind and action, states of being, take a kind of courage and resolve that to you may seem inconsequential or normal, but they are not, and they are not to be underestimated. I want you to value these attributes about yourselves, these skills, as deeply as do we. All of them, those skills and habits of mind, states of being, mean graduates, that you've got this. It means that even if you are uncertain, nervous, tremorous about what's next, we know, I know, that you, class of 20, class of 2022, have got it. You are among the best prepared people on the planet. And that also means that you are needed out in the wide world, and that you have an obligation. You're needed scattering across this globe, standing up to, stepping into, and addressing the world's challenges. You are needed to show us what is possible. And so what else do I see? From here, each of you, individually, is a spark, a brilliant point of courageous light on the precipice of ignition. And what are sparks in the aggregate? They are fire. And fire illuminates. So, light the way. 
you glass blowers, you weavers, you painters, you sculptors, you multidisciplinary makers, you industrial designers, architects, fab folks, illustrators, scholars, apparel design folks, animators, all of you courageous, beautiful creatives. May you be bound with a sense of delight and wonder. May you be of service to others and to the big wide world. May you be well, may you live in appreciation, may you continue to dwell in courage. May you hold your RISD friends and family close. May you continue to exalt the octagon and bedazzled hair. May you light the way, may you discovery light your way, and may your lights burn long and bright. Congratulations, we are so very proud of you. I now, um, it's my pleasure to introduce Provost Kent Kleinman. You guys look fantastic. Thank you, President Williams. I am delighted to introduce our graduate student speaker, Julius Kavira, MFA in Sculpture. Julius grew up, sure. <laughs> Julius grew up in Chicago, Illinois, where he took free art classes at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, from which he later earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. After two tours in Iraq, he was honorably discharged from the U.S. Army. His work in RISD's Sculpture MFA program, which recently earned him a prestigious St. Boltoff Emerging Artist Award, translates his experience with the military, religion, and identity into potent and poignant forms. Next fall, Julius will pursue a second master's degree in RISD's teaching and learning in art and design program Please give a warm welcome to Julius. Thank you for the kind introduction, Provost Kleinman. Now how about that, folks? The very pillars of this fine institution sitting among us right before our eyes. Thank you all for this wonderful day. Now, 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 now let's be nice to them because this whole kid and caboodle could have been on Zoom. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now seriously, it is amazing to be here united today. After two years without graduating ceremonies, need I say the pressure of writing something was hard so I thought of a lot of topics as a grad student speaker. Initially, I thought about the world today. You know, the twisted, apocalyptic thriller of natural disasters, polar political strife, incorrigible conspiracies, technology, and technology that binds us to blinking screens and stealthy digital voyeurisms, capitalist subliminal messaging draining our bank account apps, War-torn lands, blood-stained pavements, the risk of reproductive rights, the hungry, neglected foster kids, the elderly, and the forgotten disabled, and the rest of us with the company of death that we call a pandemic. But, uh, woo! That's uh, too much, no fun, no fun whatsoever. Then I thought about unicorns. That's right, unicorns. <laughs> you know, the one-horned, white, mythical horse? In such unimaginable times, is it so wrong to think that a unicorn could appear 
prancing around, bringing good cheer and, and hope, like an oasis in the desert. But obviously that's too fun. So I landed with writing a letter to my third grade art teacher, Mr. Yana. We met early 90s, Chicago, north side. I was a little hellion. I would climb up three-story high apartment complexes, signing my name from rooftop to rooftop, all, all the while seeing countless sunsets and sunrises. One afternoon, Mr. Yana found me outside, literally on the ground, broken after a mischievous mishap. That was our beginning. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Yana, I can't, my name is Julius Gavira, and I, I can't imagine you would remember me. You were my very first art teacher. You were the first to see an artist inside a frail, short child with glasses and a learning disability. To you, I wasn't just another troubled kid from a single parent household. I was an artist. And under your wing, I had nothing to lose and could do no wrong. Art became my only frontier. And through it, visual narratives invigorated my curiosity. Hours, days, weeks flew by as I saw art and made art. Together we won competitions that won, uh, won free art classes year after year. <laughs> it was your influence that lasted even when life was hard and filled me with doubt. When I was an undergraduate at the School of Arts in Chicago, I had to pause to collect my thoughts, the immensity of the financial, educational, and the personal strains was close to impossible. But I, I had a promise to keep to you, and nothing else mattered. So I kept trying, and while trying, I practiced, and all the practice made me skilled but I still didn't feel like I made art. That kind of art that probes the mind, engages with his viewers, leaving them changed. So for 20 years, I, I tried and failed at so many things. First, I was canned as a summer camp leader. Then I lost my night out roadie position. My custodian job was too laborious. I was laid off as a stage technician. My contract with AmeriCorps was, uh, was up, and uh, I was medically discharged as a U.S. Army soldier. There's an old wise saying, failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. It is a temporary detour, not a dead end. These are the lessons I've learned in 2020, I uh, came to RISD as a graduate student in sculpture. And after two lonely COVID years, I feel right to say I am a true conceptual artist. Luckily, RISD has evolved alongside me. Today, we see a proud art school appoint its first black president and usher in new faculties focusing on race and identity. We see an mu art museum that trailblazed the path to purchasing un underrepresented artists and fund research for those who are missing in Eurocentric encyclopedias. With all this change, I can foresee my own chance in the art world. <laughs> Mr. Yana, it's been a hell of a time since third grade. And maybe you only meant to inspire a street kid to stay out of trouble but you did so much more. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you wherever you are. Sincerely, Julius Kavira. Thank you. Now, 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 let's get back to those unicorns, shall we? <laughs>
You might say it would take a miracle to solve the unpredictable tragedies that fall on our doorstep every sobering morning. But there is a miracle. Do you see, not see the uh, unicorns? You know, the unicorns, the visionaries, the authentic counterparts to the equation that, that makes our visual imaginations into visionary obsessions to bring to life. You know, that, that ideas person who won't speak up or shut up, that lonely looney tune law, wallflower that concocting their next revelation in the back corner. Where is that creature of the night? or that self-driven early bird. Where do we find that character? Look around you. Look within you. The search is over. We are the ones who sing to our hearts and minds and becoming the unexpected. We are the unicorns of this world and it is our time to shine. Because today is a sweet and momentous day as I stand among you, graduating from the Rhode Island School of Design. Congratulations, class of 2022. I salute you all. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay? No, it was better than okay. Thank you, Julius. That was extraordinary. It is now my pleasure to introduce the senior class speaker, Joshua Coverdale. <laughs> Joshua is a FAV major who shares life events through storytelling to create works, excuse me, about inequality of the black experience. His thesis, a five episode docuseries called Work Ethic, in conversation with five artists, celebrates the artistic talent of five RISD artists, challenging the expectation to represent race-related trauma, and instead emphasizing new narratives and personal voices. This fall, he will be attending Northwestern University's MFA program in documentary media. Please welcome Joshua. Thank you, and I am very grateful to be here with all of you today. Thank you, Provost Kleinman, President Williams, faculty, students, family, RISD's Dining Services, Special Collections. Hey, Tiffany. Thank you, Jolie. Um, hey, Ariel and Claudia, and, and so many more that I, forgot, that I forget to mention, and also, my amazing production who has helped along the way for my senior thesis. I also want to give a special thank you to Lucas as well. Thank you. Here we go. Season one, episode six, my own story, action. While I was growing up, every day after school, I would visit my grandfather. He lived in the same apartment building as me in Yonkers, New York. I would find him there on the couch in his overalls, watching Jeopardy in one room, hearing Wheel of Fortune in the other, the smell of tilapia fish, and I'd be sitting there, you know, playing Legos or eating a snack on the boysenberry carpet. I still remember it. Then, the stories would begin. My grandfather loved 
telling stories. He would talk about the segregation he experienced growing up in Birmingham, Alabama, about serving in the military, about being the 32nd degree Mason, past master, Shriner, and about how he loved his job as a retired crossing guard and what it meant to him to give back to the community, right? He did. He often reminded me that justice moves backwards in some places and forward in others, that history is inconsistent, incomplete, full of regression and progression. He had such a rich, holistic perspective of this world through its triumphs and through its rebels. You know, it was really tough coming in here today because my grandfather passed away last year from COVID-19, the beast. He was my best friend and the man that taught me everything I know, and I knew. I always regret that I never made a documentary about him, about his stories, and about what he taught me through these stories, which is this. We must fight for what we believe in so that we can all get to that better place. After four years at RISD, I understand this profound lesson more now than I ever did before. Class of 2022, we are the transitional generation that has fought hard and tirelessly. And yes, we are finally seeing advances in principle of diversity and inclusion and real change that has not previously existed. This process took years. Now hold on. Look, listen, I want to tell you a few stories. Let me dial back for a minute. For the past two years, I worked in archives and special collections at the RISD Library. One day, the archivist, Andy Martinez, was thrilled to share an article with me about black student activism that dates back to the 1960s. Back then, students were asking for the same things then that we are now calling out the need for more black faculty, right? They were calling out the need for the discriminant, the need for more inclusion because the lack of diversity and the lack thereof was there. We needed, we needed more inclusion and we needed a stronger sense of community. And when those students didn't like what was going on at RISD, they left when they couldn't tolerate the abuse anymore. That's really unfortunate. But it was nice to see that this archive was there in the special collections. The information was out of sight, but not lost. Right before I arrived at RISD in 2016, students organized the famous Not Your Token protest and Room of Silence documentary. I was grateful that the information was there, something to go back to. Last year, a group of students, including myself, had the chance to select and post this lineage of student lineage, of student leadership, and this huge lineage of information on the RISD's website. Now, we have the stories, a timeline, a history, a place to begin as we reclaim a sense of self. Regardless of progress since 2016, I want to share another story with you that I will never forget, something that I always remembered up until this moment. I remember it as if it was yesterday. A professor insinuated again and again that I wasn't articulating myself, I wasn't showing creative development each week, and that I did not belong at the prestige Rhode Island School of Design. I'm sure she regrets, regrets that now, though.
I knew I had things to improve on, but so does all of us. The difference wasn't between our work, but between ourselves. And with that in mind, I was the only black student in that foundation's class. I thought about that experience for a long time. As demoralizing as it was, it showed me that you cannot allow those demeaning and discouraging voices to affect your growth. Class of 2022, you're gonna have people tell you that your experiences are invalid but I'm here to tell you, you must stand in your truth. Stand firmly in what you believe in. If something's not right, speak out against it. And me standing here today is a testimony to that, which is why I'm so grateful. Now, a year later, after hearing other similar stories, I gathered about 50 students of color for a meeting where we discussed our experiences on campus and started creating plans for a more equitable learning environment. If you can believe it or not, this took place the same day RISD announced their evacuation due to the pandemic. But you know what? We were all home, but the stop didn't fight. The fight didn't stop, excuse me. <laughs> Late that spring, a group of students organized the online RISD and race forum in the wake of the Black Lives Matter movement and the passing of George Floyd. Their reflections and testimonies about racist experience reach all levels at RISD and RISD's administration directly. They were tasked with an assignment they were told to only listen and not speak. And there was so much power in that because when you listen to those who have serious problems and are facing serious experiences, you wanna find resolutions to help and to have a suitable environment for us all. They talked about toxic crit culture the need for more faculty to identify with, expanding the curriculum to be more representative. This bold act finally got the attention. And we started to see a shift in RISD's paradigm alongside the greatest social movement in history. We saw the hiring of POC faculty, and now, amazingly, the induction this spring of Crystal Williams, RISD's first black female president. Excuse me. It took grueling labor, courageous discourse, and an incredibly determined student body to produce these beautiful results and begin to address our impaired past. For a long time, I have fought this progress with zero expectations. I like to call it doing the dirty work, no matter what the result. And this is what my grandfather called showing up. And you know why we show up? It's because we care. And when we do feel, when we do see that change, boy, I must admit, it feels good. My grandfather's powerful stories about his honorable civil rights journey instilled my tenacity to fight for my beliefs and for those around me. If I could have asked my grandfather something, I would have asked, can I make a documentary with you? And I would have asked him a few questions after that. 
I would have said, Granddad, you saw segregation up close. You saw racial tension at its worst. How did you see the light at the end of the tunnel? You know, I was never really able to ask him that on camera, but I believe I know the answer. Granddad, you were that light. And I hope I can be as amazing and honorable as you. I don't want to fill your shoes, but I want to do it in my own way. The light is there. Keep going. My experiences at RISD showed me that. The subject matters in my docu-series showed me that. Najari Anderson, Vivi Burns, Beyonce Armstrong, Todd Richardson, Jada Okoda, thank you for allowing me into your lives and trusting me with your story. Thank you. And we are all part of the African diaspora. We all have such different stories but similar experiences. And we learned from each other. I really appreciate it. You really helped in my grieving process too. Now that is a wrap to my perfect story. But before I close out today, I'm gonna to do my last look listen. Look listen. I wanna ask all of you something. I wanna open this question up to all of you. What is your story? Everyone in this room has stories. And we can learn from each other's stories. At RISD, this is the work that we do. We tell our own stories and we tell each other's so that we can learn together and reimagine the world as young creatives and upcoming visionaries. Our experience at RISD has given us the tools and language to communicate with a world that still has so much learning to do. Now, lastly, Oh, wow, I will not miss those eight-hour studio courses from freshman year or being caught on the Rizzi Asleep Instagram. I, I'm so glad I don't have to be caught doing that. <laughs> I was so tired, but we all worked so hard. But I'll tell you something. I know we're ready. Let's go. Come on now, or as my grandfather used to say, Joshua, it's your granddad. I'm calling to check on you to see how you're doing. It's Friday. I'll catch you later. He always, he always loves saying, I'll catch you later. Class of 2022, I'll catch you later. And granddad, I'll catch you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Joshua. It is a great honor to introduce a speaker who will address the valiant class of 2022, whose commencement ceremony was held remotely due to the pandemic, but are here today to be recognized. The class of 2022 address will be delivered to you by the one, the only, the extraordinary Brian Zelznick illustration alumnus of the class of 1988. Brian is the author and illustrator of many books for children, including the inimitable text image 500 plus page tome titled The Invention of Hugo Cabret, 
a Caldecott Medal winner, and the basis for Martin Scorsese's Oscar-winning film, Hugo. His other books include Wonderstruck, The Miracles, Kaleidoscope, Live Oak with Moss, that latter the first uh, book for an adult audience based on 12 poems by Walt Whitman. Brian has collaborated on many other publications, including the Doll People Trilogy by Anne M. Martin and Laura Godwin, the Caldecott Honor Book, The Dinosaurs of Waterhouse Hawkins by Barbara Curley, and Baby Monkey, Private Eye, a beginning reader he created with his husband, David Serlin. In addition to his many books, Brian has worked professionally as a puppeteer and written for the stage, including an updated version of The Nutcracker, performed at the Joffrey Ballet in Chicago, and choreographed by Tony Award winner Christopher Wielden. Together, they are currently collaborating with Ryan Scott Oliver on a musical adaptation of The Invention of Hugo Cabret. Please welcome Class of 2020 speaker, Brian Zelsnick. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to also just quickly acknowledge our hardworking ASL interpreter. Uh, thank you very much for making us accessible. That is not an easy job. In April of 2020, when it was clear the lockdown wasn't going to be ending anytime soon, I got an email from Roseanne Summerson, who was then the president of RISD. She told me about the video commencement they were creating for the students. Her email said, I am writing to ask if you would participate by contributing a brief informal video message. We want to do something truly special for this graduating class that has experienced such a challenging end to their time at RISD. Our guiding message is this, RISD class of 2020, we see you right now and we celebrate you. I was, I was very honored to be asked to be a part of this virtual event, so I put on a tuxedo, sat in front of my automaton from Hugo, and read the following words. Hello, I am Brian Selznick, sheltering in place in Brooklyn, New York, with Mr. Automaton from Hugo. My husband was stuck on the other side of the country, but that's another story. I graduated as an illustration major in 1988. The diploma we got that year was printed on a hammer. The joke was that we were going to get a diploma we could actually use. <laughs> <laughs> to the class of 2020, the class of perfect vision, who have the distinct and very strange honor of being the first class in RISD history to graduate from the privacy of your own homes. When I graduated, it felt like I was walking into something vast and scary and unknown. Today, you are actually walking into something vast and scary and unknown. But the difference is the entire world is walking with you. We're doing it together. And we need to remember how lucky we are because we are the ones who make art. Art is how we breathe as a species, how we tell stories and how we find our way. Then I picked up my hammer and I said, here is your diploma. Use it to smash things down and use it to rebuild. Use it to make beautiful things. Congratulations. So, here we are, two graduations later, and it seems like 200,000 years have passed. Class of 2020, it is so nice to finally see you in person. And class of 2022, it is so nice to meet you. When I was at RISD, the one thing I was sure of, maybe the only thing I felt certain about, 
was that I did not want to be a children's book illustrator. I took no classes with Chris Van Allsburg or David McCauley. I did not attend the lecture given by Maurice Sendak, and I did no illustrating while at school. I was an illustration major only because, at the time, there were no requirements. So I was able to pursue theater up the hill at Brown, which is what I really wanted to do. <laughs> My thesis in illustration was a set design at Brown. My plan was to go to Yale for stage design and then work in the theater. But fate had other plans, and here I am today, so grateful to have lived a life making books for children. But over the years, I've also designed sets, made puppet shows, written screenplays and musicals and ballets. We do not need to be just one thing. Everything informs everything. Perhaps learning how to be different things is something that had actually been instilled in me at RISD, though I wasn't aware of it at the time. In fact, many of the most important things I've come to understand about my life and my work may have also had their roots in RISD, such as ask for help, don't get too comfortable, don't have a wheelhouse, do things you don't know how to do. Don't compare yourself to others. Being smart really means you're aware how much you don't know. Earn your confidence. If you know how to do something, it probably means you're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Say thank you and you're welcome and mean it. Learn how to take a compliment. Your time and your talent are worth money. What feels like chaos in the present becomes a story when you survive it and look back, and cliches can be helpful. <laughs> Speaking of cliches, uh, in 1988, our graduation hammer read as a little bit of a cynical joke, but I wasn't kidding in the video when I said that you're all getting a hammer for your graduation. I know that saying hammers can smash things down and build them back up is a cliche. But in the right hands, cliches can transform like magic tricks into transcendence. They can point towards truth, and we need truth now more than ever. We need you hammer in hand, and we need what only you can say. Look at the hammers in your hands as if you've never seen a hammer before. Imagine yourself in a state of grace. And from this state of grace, go live your large, mysterious, beautiful, expansive lives and build the world you want to live in Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Brian. President Williams. Each year at commencement, the RISD community honors creative thinkers and makers who've made significant contributions to the worlds of art, design, and culture. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, Rhode Island School of Design is pleased to confer the degree of Honorary Doctor of Fine Arts in recognition of the outstanding achievements of the distinguished individuals who have joined us today. At this time, I would like to ask Chair Spalter to rise and join me for the hooding of our honorary degree candidates.
Lisa Morgan, Assistant Professor of Apparel Design, please present the first honorary degree candidate. President Williams, um, I have the great uh, honor and um, joy um, of presenting the uh, Honorary Doctor of Fine Arts to Nick Cave from the Rhode Island School of Design. Nick, Nick Cave, your profound one-of-a-kind creations from sculptures to installations to video, sound, and performance pieces have inspired meaningful dialogue in the U.S. and beyond about gun violence, racism, and global warming. Your work continues to remind us that while there may be despair, there is always space for hope, and renewal. Nick Cave, for sharing your insights, compassion, and message of healing with people from around the world, and for offering liberation as an alternative to entrenched hierarchies, we present you with this honorary Doctor of Fine Arts degree from Rhode Island School of Design. Ramon Tejada, Assistant Professor of Graphic Design, please present our second and final honorary degree candidate. Can you hear me? There we go. Uh, President Williams, I have the great and incredible privilege honor of presenting Cheryl D. Miller for the Honorary Doctor of Fine Arts degree from Rhode Island School of Design. Cheryl D. Miller. As a nationally recognized advocate for equity and inclusion in the field of graphic design, you have spotlighted the marginalization of BIPOC designers around the world. By establishing one of the first black woman-owned design firms in New York City in 1984, you set an example for all of us including the designers forging their own creative paths in, their, in your wake. Cheryl D. Miller, for boldly confronting white supremacy in its many insidious forms and for sharing your deep knowledge with the next generation of creatives via your research and teaching, we are pleased to present you with this honorary Doctor of Fine Arts degree from Rhode Island School of Design. My privilege to now invite our commencement speaker, Cheryl D. Miller, to address our graduates, their families, loved ones, and everyone else here uh, at this special occasion. Please welcome Cheryl D. Miller. Thank you. Good morning, RISD. Indeed, you have been killing me softly with your love. Good morning again. I want to thank President Williams, the Board of Trustees, the Academy to which we serve, the Rhode Island School of Design family and friends gathered here together for this glorious occasion. It is an honor and a privilege opportunity to speak before you today. For this, I thank you, and I am grateful, I'm humbled, 
and only the good Lord knows how appreciative I am. If my 1952 eyes haven't failed me, I hope I'm not mistaken. So let me be human. We have a very, very, very special guest here today. Director, producer, Joshua, pull out your iPad, pull out your app. Rhode Island School of Design, unless this is a grand faux pas, my eyes caught the class of 1970. Would you please stand with your sign and RISD welcome the alumni class of 1970. I saw a blue sign. Class of 1970, when we were coming in, I saw you with a blue sign. Brian, there's your documentary. If it had not been for them, I would not be here. We're not suffocating in special collections. We are here. And every generation feels that they have invented the wheel. Well, we invented the wheel and we turned it. <laughs> the class, we are the first demand. 1970. Class of 2022, class of 2020, I am proud of you and your fortitude in surviving as well as graduating from college through the pandemic. I'm not sure how you designed, sculpted, painted, made furniture, designed jewelry through pots, blue glass via Zoom classroom studio, but you did. This commencement is particularly epic, iconic, and historic, as well as inaugural in so many and new and exciting ways. In particular, this is a full circle moment for me. I'm rounding up. I haven't been a part of the RISD community for now almost 52 years. From my 1970 freshman year now, it was the class of 70 that made sure I got here. From then to now, I think I'm the only student to take over 52 years to receive a degree from RISD. <laughs> from beginning to end, it has taken 52 years. We are graduating here together today. Again, I thank everyone for bringing me home in a glorious and celebratory manner. With that said, I am on the alumni newsletter email list. Take notes, Director Joshua. I clicked open the alumni newsletter and a link about the commencement traditions caught my attention. The link led me to a 1970 article about the design diploma. It's a tradition, a 50-year-old commencement tradition. The article memorialized the practice. It reported on RISD student demands for taking the $10,000 commencement fund and repurposing the budget for student protests, initiatives, strikes, and marches. Students from more than 300 colleges and universities went on strike because of the expansion of the Vietnam War into Cambodia and the death of four students at Kent State. Even today, our national student body is protest protesting for better gun control and against gun violence. What's What's the good, what's the close of the civil rights era without a few student demands? And RISD students had their demands too. I'm old enough to have lived through all of this and young enough to tell you all about it. By 1970, I was graduating from high school and by 1970, RISD's graduating class 
had already lived through an incredible coming of age story. Director Joshua. President Kennedy had been assassinated. The Civil Rights Act, Voting Rights Act, Malcolm X had been assassinated. The Miscegenation Act, we could not marry across races. MLK, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. Bobby Kennedy was assassinated. The Vietnam War, Woodstock, and we still experience erasure. They want to call the Harlem Cultural Festival the Black Woodstock. No. Summer of Soul, it was the Harlem Cultural Festival. Man on the Moon. Man on the Moon, Kent State shootings, Pushpin Studio in New York City, Milton Glaser and Paul Rand became immortal. Well, right through all of this societal drama, which was not unlike our socio-political tension and cultural shifts we are experiencing today, except for COVID and monkeypox, I was a high school junior the months before Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, and my father called me into his library. I remember it like it was yesterday. So Cheryl, what are your plans for college? I thought to myself, I, ha I haven't really thought much about it, Papa. He could see I was bewildered. So Cheryl, go get a plan and come back with your plan. All I ever wanted to do was draw and paint. And coming up with a plan without academics wasn't going to go over very well. So I started researching and I discovered art college. There it was, a bachelor's degree for Papa and art for me. A win-win plan. I discovered RISD. Well, Papa was a best kind of guy. Everything had to be the best stuff. So I was going to have to come up with the best art school in the whole wide world to apply to, or he wasn't going to go for it, and he wasn't going to pay for it. Well, without a Google search, I had no idea what I was walking into. And my 2022 alumni news article from RISD Digital Commons, the archives failed to mention the other RISD student demands. Student demands that were taking place during 1970. I know now what I didn't know then. In 1969, Professor Stanley O'Yaron was a PhD scholar from Brown. He came down and taught black history at RISD. The RISD student newsletter, the first, the Designers News, May 1969 headline read, student group turns activist. You guys think you're the first ones to turn activist. The class of 1970, it was just a history class turned activists. Demanding, the history class was demanding scholarships for black students to attend RISD. By October 1969, Professor John Torres was hired as the director of the Third World Program and RISD's first administrator in charge of recruiting black students. Operation Pilgrimage began, and by 1970, the Minority Recruitment Program la launched, but not before another demand. By March 1970, the infamous We Demand letter, more scholarships for students to attend RISD from around the country, and also specifically scholarships for Providence and Rhode Island students. You see, what's really important about this moment, this class, you see, 1968, Martin Luther King was murdered, assassinated, 
and it's a pivotal marker for change in the design industry, not only at RISD, but at the art and design industry out of New York City. It was the beginning major art and design trade publications began asking the question, where are the black designers? The advocacy began to formulate with the design industry attention and recognizing that there were black designers not represented and not being afforded equitable opportunity. The graphic design industry in 1968 began looking for black designers. It was RISD's own Professor Mahlo Ryder responded to both the charge here at RISD and to New York cadre and, prof and the profession, best known as RISD's professor of painting and illustration and collage, was on the selection committee for now the infamous Dorothy Hayes exhibition, Black Artists and Graphic Communication. Beginning in 1969, Ryder became a part of the Hayes exhibition Planning and, planning and selecting the committee, uh, the art for the show. And by 1970, the show had launched and found its way to Woods Gary Mansion for all to see. Barry Gaither and Maurice Burns curated directions in the work of Black um, American Artist Lectures in October and May. By 1970, the RISD student demand letter had moved the needle of time to this very point in history. The first administra administrators for recruiting and admitting and even caring for more students of color took root. My parents were able to afford the tuition, so my scholarship possibly appointed to my admissions was repurposed to another student and I was a part of the entering class of black and Puerto Rican studio, students invited to study at RISD. It was the response to the student 1970 demand for more diversity. See, diversity was pretty monochromatic then. The needle moved to basically build a more robust black and white student body. I passed the RISD drawing exam. I landed on RISD's beach, and here we are. Life happened. Freshman Foundation, 1970 Thanksgiving. Papa was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Cheryl, your father will be dead in 10 months. The prognosis was most accurate. Two weeks before returning for my sophomore year, he died. Professor Torres and Mrs. Dot Ford helped me to get to Micah. I couldn't leave my mother in DC by herself. That summer on his deathbed, I could hear his probable prayer. Lord, I want the best for my family. I want the best for Cheryl. He died not knowing what my future would be. Today, RISD, you answered his prayer for me to graduate with this honor from the Rhode Island School of Design. It took a minute, but we are here and you are here. Now, 52 years later, it took the death of another black man, George Floyd, and again, another student demand letter to awaken our social consciousness. In 52 years, your demands for diversity have moved the needle once again toward a far more reaching palette of all colors to include a family of leadership, faculty, and students from around the globe to welcome those who identify themselves in their own truest expressions of love and fall in love with whomever they desire. For a better RISD for today, we must try our best to further become the best RISD we can be now and for the future. I wanted you to know that where we are now began with my class and the class of 1970. This is your oral tradition. This 
director, Joshua is your documentary. Class of 2022, 2020, we share a few things in common. We just wanted to learn to draw and paint. We wanted the best when we applied to RISD. We were selected out of the best applicants. We passed the RISD drawing exam. We began our journey here, our cornerstone freshman foundation moment. You must know your past in order to see the vision for tomorrow. Today, we break open my cornerstone freshman foundation moment to discover the time capsule of events that would lead us to this moment, our today, our capstone moment, the place where the finishing touch, the capstone sets the building in place. We share the beginning of a new building of the same foundation from a setting of the cornerstone. I have traveled all this way, a living timeline, to share this very zenith moment of setting this, your capstone, in place. I was there then and with you now. When my father agreed with my choice to attend RISD, he said one thing to me, Cheryl, I will support you with whatever you want to do. Just be the best. Well, Papa, I'm not sure if I'm the best, but I surely have tried my best. Professor Torres wore many hats, assistant to the president, dean of students, counseling, on the road recruiter, sculptor. He was moved that an artist would be called into RISD's administration. He wanted us to understand the nature of being the best. He wrote in the first issue of the student new newsletter, October 1969, if a school desires to be the best, then we must all somehow drop the notion that we are so bad. Now let me translate that. That kind of means we have to drop the notion that we, are, we aren't so dope. That's what he meant. <laughs> that we can't be so high and mighty in our little area that no one can touch us. The only way to be the best, he says, is to communicate that we haven't arrived yet, but we are trying harder than anybody else. Professor Torres was warning us not to become complacent because of RISD's best brand affording possibly an easier access to the journey. I have been blessed to have experienced studying at some of the best colleges and universities in North America. RISD, we have had our demanding moments which have brought us to trying harder to remain one of the best art and design colleges around the globe and in North America. I was recently talking to my daughter about her GPA, and does she think, well, are you gonna be wearing a cord of colors for your graduation? We were talking about the different colors and, and, and what they mean. She smiled and says, Mom, you know, when you have a 4.0 GPA, it's harder because you have to keep it and maintain it than it is to work your way up to the 4.0 mark. Being one of the best-ranked art colleges, recently we must stay on top of the best brand. Graduates, we start again with new beginnings. You must maintain the best brand in everything you do. When engaged in theological studies at the Union Theological Study, we, we theologians coin a phrase, eat the fish and spew out the bones. RISD, we have endured a season of challenges, disappointments, and even possible injustices and demands for wishes of things that could have been better. Well, we have good news. We have not been overtaken by perilous situations of our dispensation. We take the best of it all and leave the rest behind. 
My Union Theological graduation, President Holland Lee Hendricks said to us, make sure every time you speak or write or engage in your ministry or service to others, let it reflect that you have passed through these walls. You will be known by your critical excellence. With all of this said, class of 2022 and 2020, I did my best so you could do better. If I could defy Jim Crow trying to steal my portfolio, you can do better. Replace my best efforts with your best excellence and know that one of you under the sound of my voice, will stand right here and re rehearse this oral tradition to a future commencement audience yet to arrive. You'll remember this day. It might take another 52 years, but remember this moment and pass it to the next generation, RISD graduates. Pass this story forward. Do better than I could have ever done in my generation. Be the best you can be all the time and build the best brand. Rebrand tomorrow by doing your best now. Just try to be the best. May your future success reflect that you pass through the studios of the Rhode Island School of Design. I was in graphic design yesterday the studios and the show and the graduate show, we are creators of divine candy. Oh my goodness, is all I could say. Keep the demands demanding. Demand the best for yourselves that you may serve others. Demand for the best outcome. Demand that success meets your opportunity of preparedness. You will be known by the best brand by having passed through the academy of the Rhode Island School of Design. So if you're gonna demand, keep demanding for the best in the outcome of all you desire. Here are my best practices. Listen carefully. I look deeply within and deeply without, I identify only one, the one void that must be filled. And I believe with my whole heart that I'm the best and the only one who can fill it. No, no one else can do what I'm doing and no one else can do what you're doing. Get in touch with that. I discover where I can be the first one to try to accomplish the task. I'm not going to be the only one, but I look to see, am I going to be the first one, the best one to accomplish the task impossible? Then I work endlessly and tirelessly to complete the mission impossible. I keep going and going and going until it's completed no matter how long it takes. 52 years is a long time. Class of 2022, I have the audacity of hope that you are the best one to fill, to fill any impossible assignment. Know you are the best in having tried to be the best, whether the results are of the best outcome or not. Try everything you know to be the utmost and the very best of giving your art to the world. Remember, the gift is easy. That's just what it is, it's a gift. What you do with the gift is difficult. That's what might make you give up, what to do with the gift. But just do your best to prosper it, multiply it. Prospering your gift is your gift in return to the giver of gifts. RISD, I've tried my best so you can do better. Here is your charge, class of 2022, 2020. Living your life is your story. Living your life for others is your legacy. 
leave the best legacy possible. I did my best so you could do better. Be better than the history I have traveled through. Make your history far more welcoming and inclusive for everyone you encounter. Be the best instrument of grace, mercy, and peace that you can be. Glass of 2022 and 2020, just take Papa's advice. If you're gonna do this, well just be the best and that you are. My graduates, I'm proud of you. You've endured arduous times. And if you can pass through these waters, you have achieved the best possible success in this very moment by graduating from the Rhode Island School of Design, the best today for a better tomorrow in you for yet to create. I have one more, two more reflections. I have just two more, one more thing I wanna say. I want to leave you with a theological reflection, President Williams. When you were yet born, the RISD class of 1970, on your way, the class of 1970 demanded. Their demands were met by the time you were born, fall of 1970. I had just arrived at RISD as a freshman, first fruits of their demands. Madam President, they had a vision for yet another future demand. It took us both 52 years to arrive to this strategic moment for such a time as this moment of commencement 2022 and 2020. May we all demand the best. Class of 2022, congratulations again. I'm sorry I cannot pay your student debt off. <laughs> Can't do that. But I can give you a promise. I can give you a promise that I'll keep from the 1970 Billboard Hot List play, uh, song playlist, I'll be your bridge over troubled water. Because there ain't no mountain high enough. And always remember, I'll be there. 1970, God bless you, God keep you, demand the best. Please do better than I could ever do. That's your documentary. Hold true to that biblical theological name of Joshua. May we go on to the other side. Don't make me preach it just because I'm a theologian. God bless you. Cheryl, thank you for your inspiring words. It's time now to recognize 2020 graduates. At this time, I'd like to ask the members of the class of 2020 to please rise. With the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Rhode Island School of Design, I hereby celebrate and acknowledge the conferral of your degrees, conferred in 2020 with all the rights and privileges appropriate thereunto. 2020 graduate and undergraduate degree recipients, please come forward as your names are called. Family, friends, beloveds, we ask that you please hold your applause until all the graduates have been announced so that each family can hear their graduate's name called. Provost Kleinman is here to help me recognize the class of 2020. 2020. Ready? 
Gabriel Abascal. Lulian An. Damini Agrawal. Shafi Adam. Miriam Ayuna. Ala Asalhili. Sarah Alvarez. Shreya Anand. Liam Archibald. <laughs> Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Amalia Atias, Bachelor of Fine Arts Furniture Design. <laughs> Olivia Bangham. Priyanshi Bareja, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Hallie Bartel, Bachelor of Fine Arts Furniture Design. <laughs> Ali Bartlett, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Elizabeth Bauer, Master of Fine Arts Graphic Design. <laughs> Roscoe Bernard, FAB 2020. Meredith Vinette, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film, Animation, Video. <laughs> Hilary Brame, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. <laughs> Leopold Breck, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. <laughs> January Bridges, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Camille Katie McRae, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Glass. Afa Cahill, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Jillian Kai, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Anna Campbell, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Gabriela Cardenas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Alexis Caruso, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. <laughs> Julia Kastner, Bachelor of Arts in Teaching, Art Education. Pooja Cavale, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Um, Aja Chetin, Bachelor of Architecture, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Noah Ceballo, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Jason Chang, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Mary Chavez, Master's, Industrial Design. Daphne Chen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Yifei Chen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Sophie Chen, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Jasmine Gutbrod, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. <laughs> Osvaldo Chinchilla, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. <laughs> Caitlin Kiyokio, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Isabella Marie Clark, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Charlotte Clement, Master of Industrial Design. Alyssa Colon, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design and Textiles. Ed Condon, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Isabel Connolly, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Eleni Contis, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Alyssa Cox, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Printmaking. <laughs> Hai Jin Cho, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. <laughs> William Schwinar, Master of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. 
Makul Chakravarti, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Yu Hyung Chung, Master of Fine Arts, Sculpture. Ji Yoon Chung, Master of Fine Arts, Digital Plus Media. Desiree Dai, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Interior Studies. Anna Daly, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Ian Patrick Danner, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Karen Darius, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. Zach Davey, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. T. Joich, Master of Architecture. Sam DeVergilio, Bachelors of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Jessica Doe, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Lily Douglas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Stella Egula, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. Ariel Eisen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Fine Arts Glass. Sean Horifai, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Cecilia Emmy, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Aroli Enamorado, Bachelor, Masters of Architecture. Sina Errol, Bachelor of Architecture. Siomara Espayo, Bachelors of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Diego Espinosa. Carl Gustav Uerbring, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Jack Halton Fontnestock, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Winslow Funaki, Master of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Emma Feiyi, Master of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Harry Formoso Morias, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Fabian Forer, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Connor Foley, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. Malika Franks, Bachelor of Fine Art, Industrial Design. Adrian Emmerich, Master of Landscape Architecture. Deanna Gallo, Masters of Landscape Design. Shui Chiao, Master of Landscape Architecture. Coulter Fellows, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. Carly Gamitro, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. Amanda Glickman, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Sasha Gordon, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. Zoe Griffeld, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Noah Gallagher, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. <laughs> Yilang Gao, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Sarah Ann Garrison, Master of Industrial Design. Chelsea Ardeen Garvey, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. <laughs> James Gately, Bachelors of Fine Arts, Illustration. Taber Gifford, Taber Priest Gifford, Master of Industrial Design. Ashesh Gohil, Master of Industrial Design. Afi Gonzalez, Film Animation Video. Ezzy Gonzalez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Rebecca Gonzalez Morales, Master of Industrial Design. Jane Gorlick. 
Feng Jiao He, Master of Landscape Architecture. Emily Guez, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Maggie Guo, Ma Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Benjamin Han, Bachelor of Architecture. Meng Xiao Han, Master of Industrial Design. Peter Heller, Master of Architecture. Rory Hernandez Romero, Bachelor of Fine Arts Graphic Design. Kaylee T. Hetfield, Bachelor of Fine Arts Furniture Design. Oliver Xu, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Caroline Hu, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Elise Hu, Bachelor of Fine Arts Textiles. Kelly Adriana Teresa Lucero Hughes, Bachelor of Fine Arts Textiles. Victoria Elizabeth Humphrey, Bachelor of Fine Arts Furniture Design. Essie Hutchinson, Bachelor of Fine Arts Furniture Design. Sejin Huang, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Anika Javat, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Lucian Jessel, Bachelor of Fine Arts Apparel Design. Michelle Katoro, Master of Arts Adaptive Reuse. Grace Kaufman Rosengarten, Bachelor of Fine Arts Painting. <laughs> Melissa Kennelly, Bachelor of Fine Arts Apparel Design. Andrew Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts Apparel Design and Industrial Design. <laughs> Ji Yan Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Ali Coltner, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Nellie Konopka, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. Bona Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Joyce Kim, Bachelor of Architecture. Sarah Kim, Bachelor of Architecture. J. Wan Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Min Seok Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. Young Yeon Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Seo Jung Alice Kim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Dan Mitrovic. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Ria Kasari, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Sarah Klotzer, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Brittany Knowlton, Master of Architecture. Ayumi Kodama, Master of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. Matt Cagle, Bachelor of Architecture. Ye Mu Ku, Bachelor of Architecture. Mary Kakorda, Master of Landscape Architecture. Min Jin Cook, Master of Architecture. Julie Kress, Master of Architecture. Mary Kwan, Manor, Masters of Art and Art and Design Education. Katie Kwok, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Austin Kuo, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Francesca Materese, Bachelor of Fine Arts Apparel Design. Tay Sam Lee Zamora, Bachelor of Arts, Industrial Design. Jun Ko, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. 
Nancy Liu, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Adaptive Reuse. Haijun Nicole Lee, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Chao Lee, Master of Landscape Architecture. Danny Lee, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Yuan Yu Lee, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Yun Chao Lee, Bachelor of Architecture. Riss Lee, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Jake Lefebvre, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Chanel Alia, Alia Lee, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video, CTC Concentration. <laughs> Hao Ning Lee, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Yi Ning Lee, Master of Arts and Art Education. Rachel Liu, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. Woo! Sophie Lololi, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Woo! Eva Liu, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Yang Yang Mao, Master of Fine Arts, Sculpture. Vadur Madhav, Master of Industrial Design. <laughs> Qing Liao, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Vaishnavi Mahayandran, Master of Fine Arts Graphic Design. <laughs> Ankit Mandavevala, Master of Arts Adaptive Reuse. Leah Marchant, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. <laughs> Chloe Mario, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Nathan Miller, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. <laughs> Rayshawn McIntosh, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Hyunji Min, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Gordon Moore, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video, Brown RISD Dual Degree Program. Woo. Kayla Murgo, Master of Landscape Architecture. Woo. Jonathan Moroya, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Woo. Megan Murphy, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Jay Nam, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. <laughs> Namira Najib, Master of Arts, Adaptive Reuse. Lizzie Newkirk, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. <laughs> Connor Nguyen, Basic, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Alex Nicholson Edy, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Marsha Monicha Niemeyer, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Sarah Nasita, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. <laughs> Pooja Nuturkar, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Megan Peng, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. <laughs> Laura Levon O'Bannon, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Olivia Orr, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Graphic Design. <laughs> Sarah Park Choi, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Jewelry and Metalsmithing. Connor Parsley, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. Woo! Jenny Peng, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Adaptive Reuse. Sydney Pumfret, Bachelor of Fine Arts, print Printmaking. Woo! Loretta Quint, Bachelor of Architecture. 
Kemia Ranarardi, Master of Design Adaptive Reuse. Shreya Raghariya, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Indira Rali, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. Rashmi Ravni Shankar, Master of Arts, Adaptive Reuse. Olivia Rivi, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Photography. Nai Xian Ren, Master of Design, Adaptive Reuse. Sean Lark Reese, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Muskan Rinawal, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration, Industrial Design. Jun Il Ray, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Matt Rios, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Ulise Rizve, Master of Industrial Design. Connor Robinson, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Isabel Rower, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Furniture Design. <laughs> Natalie Sands, Bachelor of Illustration. Isabel Santos, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film, Animation, and Video. <laughs> Izzy Saxton, Isabel Alice Saxton, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Desiree Nicole Scarborough, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Maria Carla Victoria Sebastian, Master of Design, Adaptive Reuse. Ian Seegers, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. Katie Solian, Bachelor of Architecture. Andrew, Sp Andrew Michael Guerra Spineseller, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Brendan Schaefer, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Yu Tong Shen, Master of Industrial Design. <laughs> Shushant Shivram, Master of Industrial Design. <laughs> Inbo Shim, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Becky Shu, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Sam Salgi, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Helena Sue Zumodzinas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Adaptive Reuse. <laughs> Caroline Robinson Smith, Master of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Kyung Ah Son, Master of Arch Industrial Design. Tamara Stahl, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Illustration. <laughs> Irvi Steffo, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Graphic Design. <laughs> Felix Avril Bijerkas Sum, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Sarah Surprise, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Textiles. <laughs> Rue Chao, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Samantha Tate, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. <laughs> Avril Teo, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Aaron John Tevez, Bachelor of Architecture. Amalia Torero, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Painting. <laughs> Hannah Talman, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Printmaking. Jordan Thomas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film Animation Video. <laughs> Alexa Thorne, Bachelor of Architecture.
Yanchuan Tan Nico Tian, Master of Architecture. Brianna C, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Sharon Tong, Bachelor of Fine Arts Ill Industrial Design. Shikur Tiyashi, Tiyagi, Bachelor of Fine Arts Industrial Design. Alexandra Venegas, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Furniture Design. Christopher Vialta, Master of Architecture. Lawrence Marie Van Lingenau, Bachelor of Architecture. Kimberly Wong, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Jan Diego Wilson Estrella, Bachelor of Fine Arts Painting. Hannah Huang, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Yu Huang, Bachelor of Fine Arts Jewelry and Metalsmithing. Samuel Wesselman, Master of Architecture. Kira Widija, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Vanessa Wong, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Wei Xiao, Bachelor of Architecture. Rue Xie, Master of Landscape Architecture. Amanda Tianlin Yang, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Graphic Design. Cherry. Xing Lan Yang, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Molly Young, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. Halo Yoon, Bachelor of Fine Arts Textiles. <laughs> Lily Yitin Zhang, Bachelor of Architecture. Hua Chen Zhang, Master of Landscape Architecture. <laughs> Bobby Zhao, Bachelor of Architecture. <laughs> Zhe Hui Zhang, Bachelor of Fine Arts Illustration. <laughs> Hong Jia Zhu, Master of Arts Adaptive Reuse. Cici Runxi Zhu, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. Shelby Bernard, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Industrial Design. At this time, we would like to take a moment to honor the memory of 2020 classmate Alif Ilkel, film animation video, who passed away suddenly on March 22nd. Alif had an extremely kind soul, spreading love and joy to everyone around her, having great contributions to the RISD community, and setting an example with her love of nature. Thank you. Let us again congratulate the class of 2020.
And now we will recognize graduate students from this year's class of 2022. Our graduate students received their hoods, one of the symbols of their achievements, at a separate hooding ceremony yesterday. Uh, Provost Kleinman, please present the candidates for the master's degrees. Candidates for the master's degrees, please rise. President Williams, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Rhode Island School of Design, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degrees of Masters of Arts in Global Arts and Culture, Masters of Arts in Nature, Culture, Sustainability Studies, Masters of Arts in Art and Design Education, Masters of Arts in Teaching, Masters of Fine Arts, Masters of Architecture, Master of Industrial Design, Brown RISD Master of Arts in Design Engineering, Master of Art in Adaptive Reuse, Master of Design in Interior Studies Adaptive Reuse, Master of Design in Interior Studies Exhibition and Narrative Environments, and Master of Landscape Architecture. With the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Rhode Island School of Design, I hereby confer the master's degrees with all the rights and privileges appropriate thereunto. Candidates for master's degrees, please come forward to receive your diplomas. We ask family and friends and beloveds, particularly those who are inclined towards disobedience, <laughs> to please hold your applause until all graduate students have been announced so that each family member can hear their student's name called. Everyone, okay, so. Okay. Master of Arts in Global Arts and Cultures, Rachel Cobbler Woolert, Jeannie Selassie Davies, Harsha Devarj, Lily E. Many Colors, daughter Lyra Murphy Many Colors. Master of Arts in Nature, Culture, Sustainability Studies. Talia Juliet Garrido. Casey Ann Merkel. Carmen Cristina Moreno. Master of Arts in Art and Design Education, Teaching and Learning in Art and Design. Christiane Marie Caro. Caitlin Alida Sorelli. Mercedes Rose Crespo. Anchi Gu. Bridget K. Provan. Fei Fei Shen. Natalia Spritzer. Phoebe May Catherine Strobino. Yu Ching Tong. Taylor Shelton Varnado. Yeah! Lee Young. <laughs> Nila June Yuji. Xi Xin Zhao. 
Master of Arts in Teaching, Teaching and Learning in Art and Design. Eamon Clark Aldridge. Michelle Jong. Hi, Hai Yun Seo. Noel Zerzinski Zado. Katie Walk. Mackenzie Sarah Josephine Wardell. Tiffany Yim. Masters of Fine Arts Furniture Design. Anna Dawson. Virginia Gordon. Amelia Gretemann. Shannon Rose Jones. Alana Nicole Schwalbe. Maxwell Jasper Taylor Milner. Alexis Ann Tingey. Si Yi Young. <laughs> Graphic Design. Farouk Abadian. Addy Fine. Ying Shi Ji. Chi Wen Ju. Nicholas King Larson. Il He Park. Louis Rakovich. Asta Thrastodotti. Digital Plus Media. Kairos James Francis Barton. Jeanette Cosentini. Sarah Jane Cribs. Chang Hong. Margaret Louise Linden. Si Chen Liu. Jack Madden. Shelby Shaw. Li Lan Yang. Ceramics. Kaylee Michelle Cajun. Miguel Enrique Lastra. Glass. Amanda Chase Lee. G Min Park. Ben Allen. Inuka Knudsen. Scott Lerner. Ves Vesna Chef. Jing Chi Wong Steinheiser. Tala Orwell. Shinga Zhang. Photography. Ying Hong Huang. Jonathan M. Jackson. Beth Johnston. Drew Robert Leventhal. Alessandra Newhard. Ali Suboda. Printmaking. Kelvin Leonel Lopez. Nicole Caroline St. Cyr. 
Hui Huang. Julius Kavira. Zibby Johns. Zoe Sarah Schwartz. Laura Danielle Coven. Elizabeth Torton Michael John. Fayaso Quadri. Master of Architecture. <laughs> Madeline Marie Ackerman. <laughs> Maxwell James Altman. <laughs> Gideoni Alves. <laughs> Victoria Rose Barley. <laughs> Liam Mackenzie Burke. Adam Chong Harris. Raquel Danae Clark. Rebecca Chinman. Liam Schwerz Costello. David Augustin Davila. Caitlin Dippo. <laughs> Evelyn Shuan Agatz. <laughs> Tonya Sarah Estrada. Michael Garel Martunaya. Anka Gurkichianu. <laughs> Stephanie Nicole Gottlieb. <laughs> Melinda Grunewagen. <laughs> Huang Kaiji. James Jessick. Brad Lei Zhang Hong. Caroline Lippincott. Xinyi Lu. Liu Yutun. <laughs> Isabel Mora Manal. <laughs> Eric Mason. <laughs> Caitlin Irene McLeod. <laughs> Marco Nuno Murao. <laughs> Henrong Ni. Valeria Hasmin Portillo. <laughs> Wen Yue Chu, Remy. <laughs> Natalie Risk. <laughs> Jackie Vic Robinson. <laughs> Dominique Saronis. Jordan Voigt. <laughs> Jung Xu. Elise Katri Katrina Young. <laughs> Chen Xin Yu. <laughs> Tian Zhuang. <laughs> Wendy Fung Zhuao. 
Shui Yun Zhou. Dara Benno. <laughs> Megan C. Xian Zhao. Chen Jin Xuan Jenny. Ian Alexander De Silva. Ann Din. Lauren Michaela Glenn. Jason Hebert. Okay, thank you. Industrial Design, Carlos Herboso Vidal. Yeah! Alia Jamal Zaidi. Vrinda Matur. Neil Nelson. Juliana Corinne Soltis. Aaron Wright. RISD Brown, Master of Arts in Design Engineering. <laughs> Isabel Arango. Se Young Kyung. Seth Eisman. Samantha Chiok Lum Ho. Si Xuan Huang. Hai Jun Nicole Lee. Chang Chao Lee. Hong Yu Li. Catherine Maddox. Lillian Wen. Jeremy Philemon. Daniel Eric Rappaport. Timothy Talia Farrow. Rohan Upadhyayalula. Minghui Zhang. Master of Arts in Adaptive Reuse Interior Architecture. Sun Chai. Rebecca Douglas, Dolgus. Man Hu. Akanksha R. Hubli. Xingping Jiang. Bai Xu Liu. Tanvi Ketan Maru. Sophia Masu. Megan Strevig. Kelly Candace Walsh. Master of Design in Interior Studies, Adaptive Reuse, Interior Architecture. Esther Akintoye. Jonathan Tucker Bell. Alana Abreu Folds Calvacanti. Hui Hui Chen. Peter Roderick Bartholomew de Land Long. 
Maureen Ellen Fitz. Erica Anna Kane. Jonggun Lee. Ling Hui Li. D. Ma. Garrett Edward James Roseman. Abenaya Siva Prakasam Tamila Rasan. Jiali Tian. Jia Yi Huang. Jia Jie Yang. Master of Design in Interior Studies, Exhibition and Narrative Environments, Interior Architecture. Grace Kayasa. <laughs> Mua Sunya Kang. Sana Devika Rao. Ding Xu. Liu Yang. Rue Zhang. Master of Landscape Architecture. Ruo Yuan Chun. Yu Chun. Yu Ting Chung. Chen Fang Gong. Xin Li Gu. Guan Shu Yi. Lulu Ho. Wen Chi Huang. Zi Tong Hui. Christina Kotsoku. Zi Shen Li. Yu Xiao Liao. Lu Xian Zhang Yi Lu. Yan Liu. Wei Huang Luo. Lee Miller. O Xiang Huan. Chin Xiu Ran. Mohan Huang. Si Rei Huang, Ying Ying Huang, Yuan Rui Wang, Yu Xiao, Yu Meng Yan, Wei Lin Hong. Chen Jie Zhang. Jing Han Zhou. 
Hong Fei Zhuo. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> Provost Kleinman, please present the candidates for the bachelor's degrees. Candidates for the bachelor's degrees, please rise. President Williams, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Rhode Island School of Design, I have the honor of presenting the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Architecture and Bachelor of Fine Arts. With the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Rhode Island School of Design, I hereby confer the bachelor's degrees with all the rights and privileges appropriate thereunto. Candidates for bachelor's degrees, please come forward to receive your diplomas. And again, <laughs> um, I, I do recognize that I, I said the, you are as your people are, and we are octagon people, but I will again assert a request that you all hold your applause until all students have been announced so that each family can hear their student's name. So. Let us con oh, sorry, I keep doing that. I'm coming. <laughs> Bachelor of Architecture. Zoe Gianna Ally. Maram Bakara. Har Sung Chun. Julian S. Fisher Frank. Frederick Kagan Horton. Danielle Kissaberth. Dennis Kutai. Chase Daniel Lee. Sungmuk Lim. Mathilde Manacorda. Mbroko Awul. Josh Wren. Taja Tyler Jarvis Richardson. Derek Scott Russell. Zaire Talmij. <laughs> Isabella Tangerlini. <laughs> Shintong Yan. Tony Bojao Dong. <laughs> Wenbo Dong. <laughs> Bachelor of Fine Arts, Apparel Design. Christiana Jihee Cho. <laughs> Jesse Jungmin Chun. <laughs> Clara Jane Collins. <laughs> Kimberly Jin Yi Fung. <laughs> Mario Fernandez. <laughs> Jun Yi Hu. Steve Kim, Amelia K. Mann, 
Sophia Dimitra Michaelides. <laughs> Esther Park. Theodore J. Smars. <laughs> Furniture Design. <laughs> Michael Edward Cruz Cortina. <laughs> Sophia Qui. <laughs> Grace Madalena Elwood. <laughs> Louise Ferle. Anna Katarina Fernandez Dubal. <laughs> Danny Liam Fidotin. <laughs> Ren Marie Green. <laughs> Ivy Hong. <laughs> Isabella Marian Lin. <laughs> Samuel Harrison Northcutt. Epifinio Celso Rios. <laughs> Eli Avigador Silver. <laughs> Antonio Georgia Steinberg. <laughs> Graphic Design. <laughs> Malvika Agrawal. Ji Min An. Jada Akoto. Arela Bucketvik. Wendy Chow. Anna Susan Chase. Gina Choi. Minjun Choi. Sira Cupid. Jane Augusta Ellis. Ingrid Gomez. Mankun Guo. Ellie Ejun Han. <laughs> Natalia Joyce Ho. <laughs> e Chun Huang. <laughs> Samaya Jayamaha. <laughs> Ji Jian. <laughs> C E Jin. Young Jun Kang. Shi E Yu Kang. Alexandra Karpova. Henry Ward Nabla. Christine Ko. Bryson J. Lee. William Wong Lotz. <laughs> Natalia Masrur Khan. <laughs> Alejandro L. M. Molsina. <laughs> Jing E. Ning. Utkan Dora Unjal. <laughs> Fu Wang Kelly Fan. <laughs> Alexis Reed. Adele Ronzi. Sari Sandler. Alexa Era Sarakissian. Zoe Schoenfeld. Lucy UJ Shao. Avery June Shaw. Tomyra Shinkisova. <laughs> Manmeet Sodi. <laughs> Imung Sun. <laughs> Bojan Tan. Adrian Tiu. 
Skyler Ten Chi Wong. Vivian Wong. Madeline Warshaw. Aurora Weil. Jeffrey Yao. Rachel Yoon. Carolyn Joel. Paloma Zozia. Industrial Design. Regan Kai. Ashley Jihei Chang. Mei Chang Chu. Minji Cho. Min U Choi. Shira Zi Zhang. Youngjin Chang. Chelsea Day. Yeah, Chelsea! Ha Nguyen Dao. Thomas Dawson. Kara Sophia DePaulo. Matthew Dury. Chen Yu Ding. Silas Gibbons. <laughs> Taylor Sierra Ann Hamilton. Amanda Han. Louis Hand. Jessica Han Xiao. Isabella Gayan Kim. Frederica Kim. Elizabeth Leanne Lazarchuk. Varun Mehta. <laughs> Jusong James Lee. Vaishnavi Sudanchu Mehta. Chen Chi Mao. Abiola Diana McKinde. Cole Stephen Maison Pierre. Liu Yi Hong. Se Young Lee. Henry Cooper Leland. Rihan Lee. Danning Liang. Erica Jacqueline Liu. Kennedy Kangdi Liu. Siddharth Tupel. Ariella Kanarik Zrihan. Luis Sterling Starr. Carl Darius Sunawala. Seva Simone. Dei Jung. Joshua Jung Chu Huang. Mason Mitchell Meneker. Jae Yoon Myung. Han Jung Na. Julian Krusik O'Donnell. 
Jihyun Oh, Junhak Ho, Cherry Park, Chanju Park, Chris, Stephanie Park. Amy Q. Blake Rabadozinko. Solomon Rowe. Cade Christian Shuck. Sophia Minghui Tseng. Avantika Valio. Arlo Walker, John Ray Wong, Max Wazanowitz, Alex Wu, Zeng Eric Wu, Joseph Kyle Wolf. Yin Yu Yan, Ha Young Jade Yu, Karam Yu, Shin Yi Yu, Kai Zhang, Bowen Zhou. Sherry and Joe. Ian Joe. Interior Studies Adaptive Reuse. Mary Burns. Iwe Chun. Ziwe Fung. Xiao Chun Gu Ah, Gabriela Harirari, Audrey Jiushuan Kang, Shreya Kanna, Vedika Kushalani, Kyuri Kim. Shi Yao Li, Lily E. Li, Radha Singha Zanea, Jonah Blue Williger, Bella Burgum, William J. Blythe. Aiden Gail Burke, <laughs> Natasha Cartier Bresson, <laughs> Jay Hee Chung, <laughs> Julia Chen, <laughs> Michelle Collado, <laughs> Joshua Yassine Coverdale. DuBose, <laughs> Joseph Imeti, <laughs> Gregory Fox, <laughs> Francis Leslie Flynn, A little while back, FAV started, and we're continuing with FAV to recognize those graduates also. Preeti Ganesh. <laughs> Rachel Joelle G. 
Lucas Tanner Gordon. Elizabeth Bora Hong. Milton Laser Hopkins. Tamia Marcel Jackson. Amanda May Kalimbach. Asa Kanan. Eva Koenig. Serena Laduser. Suyang Liang. Kohan Lin. Mochi Lin. Tuck Xing Liu. Jalen Kelvin Neville. William Pak. Skip Showers. Marcus Bobby Zaltzberg. <laughs> Hannah Suros. <laughs> Intanon Suwanakarn. <laughs> Xander Drop. <laughs> Allison Ye. <laughs> Chin Ru Jung. Ranchin Joe. Radha Shimini Sita Brathwaite. Glass. <laughs> Zainab Manish. Elena Aguirre Uranga. Elisa Cristina Alvarez. Lars Barstad. Caitlin Lee Boyd. Georgina Milena Bronheim. Mackenzie Alea Bellin Butter. Isla Calcedia. Dyer Chen. Si Chen, Grace Chen. Nai Chen, Audrey Chen. Dana, Yansu Cho. Milan Klein. Raisa Cruz. Caroline Dye. <laughs> Gaz Arish. De David Edgar Fernandez. Zivin Soto Fortin. Emma Lee Fujita. John Francis Gendron. 
Kai Jeffrey Gitson. Tegan, Tegan Goki. Boshan Men Grassi. Yen Gu. Sophia Guo. Catherine Hackle. Jared Charles Isaac Hall. Joanne Han. Joey Han. Ava Sendrine Hanley. Monica Lena Hedman. Anna Hitchin. Kevin Kaihan Ho. Amalia Huang. Wen Hao Huan. Wen Yu Huang. Ige Huang. Lottie Hubbard Jimenez. April Yihan Jiang. Caitlin Alexandra Juarez. Gina Gong. Nadia Kosman. <laughs> Sophia Angelica Latore Feliciano. <laughs> Xiao Tang Long. <laughs> Edgy Lee. <laughs> Daniel Hyun U Lee. <laughs> Kyle K. Kang Hung Lee. <laughs> Myung Hyun Lee. <laughs> Sophie Fujin Levin. <laughs> Jia Yi Lee. <laughs> Sophie Lin. <laughs> Perry Litke. Irene Zhao Liu. <laughs> Mengchi Vanessa Liu. <laughs> Jia In Liu. <laughs> Kenneth Liu. <laughs> Olivia Lunger. <laughs> Vadwija Madhav. Ruby George McCullers. Sammy Mugger. Matthew Taylor Monkovich. Darian Neild. Julia Catherine Nunez Costellini. Felipe Ortiz. Aiden Olin. Cheyun Park. Yewan Park. Wei Ling Pang. Marlo C. Pody. Rami Poisson. <laughs> Megan Marie Rojas. <laughs> Amelia <laughs> Rosiar. <laughs> Jake Ryan Ruggiero. <laughs> Ash 
Ash Samuels. Christian Philip Scott. Hung Yu Shen. Abenda Zon. Estelle Isabella Stroud. Joshua Brandon Sun. Andrew Yufang Wong. Alex Nicole Watson. <laughs> Tiffany Yanting Wang. Tsai <laughs> Yuan Kelly Wu. <laughs> Mason R. Zabrucki. Xiao Man Lin Zhang. Jack Xuan Dan Zhou. Peter Zhu. Jewelry and metalsmithing. Iris Chan. Sean Rutledge Aren. Yu Hui Go. Meng Guo. Man Luo. Jian Park. Ashley Ro. Si Cheng Tung. Painting. Beyonce N. Armstrong. I'm going to announce your name now, OK? Prachi Balad. Henry Kerwin Bohan. Yugang Mei Chin. Edith Kopp. Wallace Dibble. <laughs> Drew Dodge. <laughs> Corina Durego. <laughs> Anna Fairbank Santana. <laughs> Itzak Marguerite Bant. Emma Lizette Florence. Claudia Grebner Marin. Daniel Grimmy. Justin Ree Han. Heyman Huang. Camila. Andrea Chashan.
Kiera Isabel Joyce. Elijah Kaufman. Jackson Neath. Thomas Francis Manto. Naya Satya McClay. Kitty mm. Maxwell Star Pierce. India Baldwin Sachi. Alyssa Rochelle Scott. Joel Xiao. Nicholas Ray Steele. Adira Theron. Thea Tharp. Carolyn Nicole Van Artstalen. Augustina Wong. Elin Wong. James Warren. Emily Wright. Val Yu Ting So. Photography. Julia Abbott. Myla Grace Fox. Josiah Gill. Aubrey Greenewalt. Janie Kowalczak. Ray A. Londres. Owen Ananda McCarter. Jung Bin Julie Park. Parker B. Simpson. Printmaking. Addie Best. Sophia Mai Brown. Nicole Elizabeth Klein. Camille Gro. Shu Isabella Jiang. Xin Yu Ivan Liang. Mei Chen Liu. Margaret Man Shu Shi. Sculpture. Benjamin Thomas Anderson. Quinn Bentley Peak Benson. Tomo Theodore Bray. Leah Rose Fabray. David Gonzalez. Alexandra Hirsch Hoffman. Yee <laughs> Ching Lei. Arden James Shostak. Ruluko Iwana Vlad. Asher E. White. Joanne on Nari on 
Katarina Arusachi. Ishani Bachawat. Veronica Bayo. Dante John Chaffinetti. Sophia Paula Weissman Curley. Xiang Ying Bang. Jamie Hyun Gim. Wells A. Getzman. Gabrielle Gordon. Sasha Grigoria. Mindy Kong. Na Hyung Kim. Kyo Hyun Koo. Adra Martin. Olivia Grace Masterson. Sakura McKee. Charlotte Middleberger, Mildenberger McDonald. Helena Maria Miller. Cynthia Shengya Chow. Jacqueline Chu. Sarah Tanikawa. Bidna Yoon. Class of 2020, please remain standing. I'll try again. Class of 2022, please remain standing. about to become members of an extraordinary global network through the RISD Alumni Association. RISD alumni use their talents and bold ideas to help create impact in the world, solving societal and environmental problems, creating new businesses and forms of practice, and inspiring us with their beautiful works of art, products, and ideas that all together describe a better future. So I want you to take a moment to think about what you want your own legacy to be as part of this distinctive lineage. So now, turning the tassel symbolizes one's transition from candidate to graduate. So on the count of three, I ask each of you to move your tassel from right to left and then for everyone in this assembly to join me in again applauding RISD's newest alum. So, don't do it yet. I didn't do the math. One, 1.25, one two, three. Congratulations, class of 2022. You all did it. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I want to again thank the team of RISD staff and students who've produced today's event and a special thanks to the faculty and students who have transformed this space. If you've not had the opportunity, I hope that you will take some time to go uh, just sort of upstairs and across to the graduate thesis show, which is exhibited in the Rhode Island Convention Center. It's really extraordinary. Thank you, family, friends, beloveds, uh, for coming today and celebrating this special day with us and these special humans. I want to again remind you, Sparks, that together you are fire. Huh? So go be fire in the world. Um, we're going to go over to Market Square. There's going to be an open reception. We welcome you. Please join us over there uh, where we will continue the celebration. Um, and also it's alumni weekend, so you'll be able to meet more uh, of your fellow alumni. We will process out and we will see you at Market Square. Congratulations again all. Guests, please remain seated while the stage party in the class of 2022 exit. Families, please wait for your students or alumni outside the dunk and then join us back on campus at Market Square for a community reception to honor our graduates and alumni.